Hello, I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Ah, good. But someone isn't feeling very well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I recognise him. It's deep. When I go to the doctor, I tremble and I sigh. I'm a little quiet, I'm a bit shy. But Dr. Rand is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be okay. So I can climb up to the castle and clumber down again. Or snuggle with a storybook or sit and watch the rain. Cause Dr. Rand is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be okay. Come on, Indy. Oh. Hello, Dean. Good to see you. Hello, Doctor. Oh, is it cold outside? No. Mm. Oh. Are you not feeling well? No. My mouth hurts inside. Oh, dear. That's not much fun, is it? Mm. And there's something wrong with my hands and feet as well. I can see that. Your hands have grown very big and your feet are very furry. <laughs> It's because I'm wearing gloves and slippers. That's OK, then. So what's wrong with your hands and feet? Uh, they've got spots on them. Spots? On your hands and feet? Mm, I don't like spots. Well, I'd better have a closer look at you. Can you hop onto the couch for me? OK. Uh, and if you take those gloves off, I'll be able to see what's wrong. Uh, That's better. So deep, show me these spots. Oh, I see. And some of the spots are like bubbles on my skin. I can see that. Those small bubbles are called blisters. Blisters? That's it. You might have some blisters inside your mouth. Maybe mm. that's why it's sore. Can I take a look inside? Mm. Don't worry, I'm not going to touch anything. I just need to shine a light in there so I can see better. Open wide and look inside. Well done, Dean. You can close your mouth now. You do have some blisters inside your mouth and a sore throat too, by the look of it. Oh, why have I got spots and blisters? Come over here and I'll explain. Nice gloves, Dean. They look very uh, warm. They are. You don't have to wear gloves when you've got spots and blisters on your hands. I want to. They're comfy too. OK, but remember to take them off again soon so that your hands don't get too hot. OK, Dr Rand, I will. Well, Dee, you've got hand, foot and mouth disease. It's called that because you get spots on your hands, your feet and in your mouth. Oh, no. Diseases are bad, aren't they? Some diseases are bad, yes, but hand, foot and mouth disease sounds scary, but it really isn't. Lots of children get hand, foot and mouth disease. That's why you've got it. You've probably caught it from someone else. How? Hand, foot and mouth disease is caused by a germ called a virus. If someone has a virus, they can pass it on to other people when they cough and sneeze. Sometimes the virus is passed on on people's hands. Are you going to give me some special medicine to make me better? No, Deep, I'm not. Oh. There isn't a special medicine for hand, foot and mouth disease. So wh wh why do I have to take medicine sometimes, but not at other times? That's a really good question. Do you want to ask Nurse Mora to explain? Oh, yes, please. Hello, Nurse Mora. Hello, Dr Ranch. Who's with you today? Deep. And he wants to ask a really interesting question about medicine. Hello, Nurse Mora. Um, when I'm poorly, why do I have to take medicine sometimes? At other times, I don't have to take any. Ah, now that's a very interesting question. But I think I'll need my healthy helpers to help me answer that one. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Ask the Catch nurse. that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Ask the Give nurse. me questions, catching through. Ask the healthy nurse. helpers will show and tell how nurse. you can keep fit and well. Show and tell Ask how you can keep fit and well. Ask me what you need to know. Give me questions, catch and throw. 
today I'm in York and my healthy helpers are... Hello, my name is Pidgey and I like going swimming with my mummy. Hello, my name is Pia and I like... and I'm very good at playing hide and seek. Hello, my name is Ebony and I like going on holiday with my nana and granddad. Hello, my name's Perry and I like to ride on my bike. OK, healthy helpers, who here has been ill? OK, what was wrong? Um, I had a cold. And how did it make you feel? Uh, very unwell. And did you have to go to the doctors? No. No, you just get better by yourself? Yeah, oh, that's I... good. And tell me, who else has been ill? <laughs> and what was wrong with you? Um, I had to go to the hospital because I broke my arm. Oh, my goodness. And what was wrong with you? Um, I got a temperature. You had a temperature? Oh, and how did you get rid of it? Um, I had to have pink medicine and I had to have the thermometer. And did the pink medicine help? Yeah, how long did you have to take it for? One day. One day? It worked that quick? That's brilliant. When Mummy said cake, I said, I'm better now. <laughs> Oh, that was the best medicine then, eh? <laughs> and what about you? What was wrong with you when you were poorly? I, I had a poorly bottom. Did you? Oh, my goodness. I had medicine. Oh, you had medicine? Did the doctor give you the medicine? Right, so, guys, some of you get better on your own, but some of you had to have a bit of help from medicine to get better. Well, we're going to find out why that is. Yeah! yeah. I Come can't hear you. Yeah! OK, let's go then. Come, Come on. Game. OK, healthy helpers. Now, our friend Deep wants to know why sometimes we have to take medicine and why sometimes we don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this pool is the human body. Now, can I have a volunteer to be our body's healthy helper? I think, Lydia, you should do it. OK, Lydia, you can be the body's healthy helper. Yay. Now, what we need to do is we need to show how germs can get into the human body. Right, Theo, you put in the red germs. You ready, Lydia? That's it, Lydia, get rid of them. Quick as you can. Now, we're all born with natural defences that can fight germs. Well done. Have you got rid of all the red germs, Lydia? Good. Now we're going to see what happens whenever we introduce a different kind of germ. But hang on, our healthy helper's finding it difficult to get rid of all the blue germs on her own. I think she needs some help. I think she needs... Medicine to the rescue! Medicine to the rescue! That's right, medicine because our doctors can give us the right medicine to fight the bugs. OK, medicine, give her a hand. That's it, get rid of all the blue balls as fast as you can. Faster, medicine, faster. Well done. Medicine has helped us get rid of all the blue germs and the body's healthy again. So now we know that our bodies can get rid of some germs on its own, but other germs are harder to get rid of and our bodies need extra help from medicine. So I hope that answers your question, Deep, as to why sometimes we need to take medicine and sometimes we don't. Bye-bye, Deep. Get well soon. Oh, be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon.